תהיית, יש לנו משהו מאוד מיוחד בשבילכם. אתמול דיברנו באופן עם דנה הרמן אה, אה, והמארגנים של החילוץ הישראלי של נשים מאפגניסטן. בהמשך לשיחה הזו יש לנו את הכבוד לארח הערב שניים שעזבו בעצמם את אפגניסטן וברחו מזרועות הטליבן. I want to say good evening to Rada Banuri and Walid Ali Hal. Uh, both of you escaped in this Israeli operation and you're now in a refugee camp in Abu Dhabi in the United Emirates. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. So uh, first of all, Walid, uh, just tell me, how are you? Mm -hmm. how, 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 how do you feel? Uh, first of all, thank you for having us. We're I'm good. fine, and we're, so good. Yeah. We are very happy and we are safe and um, it's a just a completely different life from the way we are living in Afghanistan and um, just leaving everything and just experiencing a new thing, new life uh, with new people, finding new, knowing new people from different countries. So it's just a new experience and um, this is just a start of a new life for us. Uh, well, it tried to take me back to the last days uh, of your stay in Afghanistan. Uh, the minute that you understood that uh, the Taliban is uh, taking control over the country and basically your life is in danger. Yeah. Um, I, I, I got out from Afghanistan on 38th, the 2nd of uh, September. But, and they, they took Kabul on 15th August. Um, and I didn't went outside of home. I was, stay, I was staying at my home for 15 days. And then the last day when I was, for the, the day tomorrow I was coming, I was with one, one of my friends at uh, his house because normally at night I was not staying in my house because I was in danger. So it was just the most horrible 15 days of my life. And I don't know how to explain it, but we never saw this kind of thing. We, we just, we never thought that this will happen to us and everything will go on in just a second. Um, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's uh, one of the most uh, uh, worst days of my life that those 15 days was in Afghanistan and staying in that situation was very, very uh, heartbreaking for me and my family. You left your, some of your family or all your family is still in Afghanistan? No, some of my family, they are in Albania, thanks to uh, the beautiful and great team of Dana and her uh, great teams. They took uh, them to Albania and some of my family is here. But still, some of them are left in Afghanistan and they are still there. What are they, uh, are you in contact with them? Uh, what, are you, what are they telling you about what is happening right now in, in Afghanistan? I'm in contact with them. I, I on daily basis I talk with them. They're okay, but they're scared. My sister are not going to school, and they're at home. My brothers are not going. They're they're scared since I was the oldest member of my family, and I had all responsibilities of my family. So now, uh, beside they lost their country, they lost someone who was guiding them for school and university and all. So, no, so now he, I'm not with them, so they're scared, but still they have hope they will get out. Rudaba, uh, you're joining us uh, again, and we had some trouble with uh, your connection. Um, so tell me, first of all, how, how did you meet Dana? How did you know Dana? Uh, you know, about uh, four years ago, it was like 2016. Then uh, Dana just came to Herat City to visit uh, the robotic team girls. And uh, that time in a hotel, I just met Dana. And from that time, I'm in touch and I'm in contact with Dana. And she became my best friend. And uh, we have so, uh, you know, um, close relation to each other. Rodaba, can you um, try to explain to me uh, or describe a little bit about the hope that you had uh, for women in Afghanistan in the last few years, just before the Taliban took control over the country? 
Uh, exactly. Uh, for women in Afghanistan, it was like uh, we all hope that these uh, women can go to uh, university, can go to a school, and they can be uh, they can be literated, and uh, they will stand by themselves and have their own work and salary. So uh, they, we just hope for them that uh, have their own freedom. Uh, but now I think um, everything just changed in one day, and uh, now. Uh, the situation that uh, women had in Afghanistan before Taliban came, it uh, definitely changed to another way. And uh, now they do not have their social life, they do not have their freedom, they cannot go to university or school, uh, they cannot con continue their education. It's like they should stay at home and just uh, see what will happen for them for the future. Were you uh, afraid for your life, Rudaba? Uh, uh, yes, for sure. Everyone uh, or every girl, every uh, man also, they are afraid of their future. You know, uh, I was a medical student in Herat Medical Faculty. Uh, then uh, when Cal uh, Taliban uh, came to Afghanistan, uh, before they took Herat City, it was like every, uh, um, you know, university was closed and uh, students couldn't go to uh, their classes and continue their lessons. So I was so scared about my future because it was like, I just spent 12 uh, years in my school. I tried hard, I had lots of dreams. And if I wanted my dreams to become true, I must uh, work for it. I must uh, just escape from Afghanistan if I was uh, uh, thinking about a better future for myself. Walid, you know, uh, you said uh, before that you couldn't believe that something like that can happen to you in your life in one second you almost lost everything and and and, and it seems that um it, there is a little bit of a disappointment in in your voice a disappointment from from the americans a disappointment from people who promised you that it will be better that promised to protect you that promised to get into your country and make life better for afghans and in one day, uh, they decided that they finished their job and they cannot stay there anymore. Is this true? Are you disappointed from the way that the Americans? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. We were a big ally of America on a war on terror. And uh, we joined them. We sacrificed more than four or five lakh people. Uh, and uh, we, we lost women, we lost children, we lost men, and we lost our teachers, we lost our army, our police. And we were at the front line of a terror, uh, war on terror. And suddenly, at the end, uh, at the 98th minute, they left us. Everybody left us, not you, only U.S., everybody left us. And that was not the way. They, they left a 20-year hard working of Afghan and international community. That was the biggest disappointment in my life. And I, I'm sure that it was it was a one of the darkest moments, I think, in American history. How can a friend will believe them again that if they are not good at friendship? And uh, they, they did this to Afghan people. We, we like we were at the front line of the war. Since we were just asking them to just support financially us. We will war, we will do whatever we need to do for our country and a, a, a bit of disappointment from our country's leaders and everybody since they they, they didn't capitalize the, the opportunities they just uh, um, uh, didn't work on a big issues they just thought they were so selfish and they didn't care about the country and the people and now we are seeing how what is happening it's the most the biggest human crisis in the world, I think. Like many people, 97% people doesn't have food and the, the winter is coming. It's not about only me and it's about 35 million people and they left them alone. You know, um, just a few years ago, I think that uh, both of you know about what happened in Syria and what is happening right now in Lebanon. Did you think that when you saw the images coming out of Syria in the last few years, three years ago and four years ago, did you believe that you will see the same images coming out of your country? Absolutely, absolutely. Like just, we, 
just look at the, the things that now it's happening. The, the, the ISIS is uh, um, getting stronger and stronger in Afghanistan. And uh, it's, I think it's a safe haven now. It become a safe haven for uh, terrorists and, and, and Al-Qaeda and other group, terrorist groups. So I think, I'm sure that they will rise again from this country and it will be a safe human for them. Can, yeah. Uh, Rodaba, can you hear us? Yes. Yes, so do you want to answer this question? Uh, exactly for me, uh, I have never imagined such a this, uh, situation in Afghanistan because, you know, the life was so uh, normal for us. And we just uh, went uh, to our work, we just went to uh, our school and universities. Everyone had his or her own life and uh, normal life. But suddenly, uh, exactly, I remember that I and my mom uh, were uh, at shopping mall. Then uh, suddenly we saw every place uh, became empty of people and no one was uh, in the streets, in the shopping mall. So everyone just were escaping and they told us the Taliban uh, came to the center of Herod City. So it was like we just were shocked that how in just few hours Taliban could came to the center of the city and take every place. So we also ran away and skipped that place and went to our uh, home. After that, we just heard some sound of shotgun. And just in one night, everything changed. Every dream uh, were destroyed everything that we imagined about our future, uh, just everything changed to the other side, to the dark side. So I have never uh, had such a disimagine that Taliban will come to the country and they will uh, be uh, in charge or they will be uh, in the government. I had never had uh, such a disimagine. Uh, Rudaba, do you have family left in Afghanistan? Um, uh, no, um, because, um, you know, uh, my family uh, are now in Albania. Dana Harman helped them also uh, to get out of Afghanistan. And uh, I'm in Abu Dhabi camp with my 14 years old brother, but two of my sisters, two of my brothers with my mother, they are in Albania. Uh, and uh, but uh, other of my friends, uh, you know, my classmates, my relatives, uh, all of them just stuck in Afghanistan. But hopefully, my family uh, could get out of Afghanistan. And uh, are you afraid uh, that uh, the women that were left there are going to pay a heavy price, staying under the control of the Taliban? Yes, for sure. Uh, you know, I am in contact with my uh, friends. Even uh, there's a group uh, for the medical students of my, uh, uh, you know, my university. Then all the time they, again, they are hopeful and they want to go to university. You know, all the time they just ask that, uh, for example, we had some news uh, from opening the universities. For example, we are going to university on Saturday on another day. So it was, it's like they all the time uh, do not lose their hope and they hope they can go to university one day again, but uh, they are also afraid of their future because you know uh, it's so hard for them. The, there are some other conditions and circumstances for them that they cannot go out alone. They cannot do their social activities. They cannot, uh, for example, have their own freedom. So um, from one side they are so afraid of everything, but in another side they are again hopeful that they can go to university. But uh, as I just um, followed the news is uh, it's like I cannot see any bright future for them because now everything just changed and Taliban promised for them that they can have their own freedom and they can do everything they want but uh, months uh, many months la uh, passed and uh, uh, they didn't do what they said to them and what they promised to them. Walid if you have one message that you want that you can uh, say or, or, or pass to the leaders that left you behind, what do you want to tell them? Uh, you know, uh, I didn't believe that they will leave us because uh, I all the time, uh, you know, uh, all the time just our teachers told us that, for example, your leaders are like your fathers and mothers. So uh, how a father can leave uh, his boy in a um, situation or in a condition uh, which is full of risk and uh, I just uh, want them that um, 
if I have any message to them, it was that uh, why you left us in a situation which no one could believe it, which no one was safe and everyone was in risk. They just uh, saved your life, your uh, own uh, children's life, and they just put all people back uh, and they are all left behind. So because I just think they are like our father and mother, but they all left us and they just uh, rescued themselves. They saved yeah. themselves. Walid, do you want to say something or pass a message or say something to your leaders that left you behind or the leaders that no, left you I behind? Will, I, I, will never, I will never send a message to leaders who, do, to those leaders who left us. I will never send a lead, message to those who left us and we sacrifice for them. We sacrifice for our country. We give them the country that named Afghanistan. We give our flag, we give our national anthem. And they left everything, they give it. They, they disrespect our national anthem, they disrespect our flag. So I'm not gonna say, and I'm not gonna send them a message. I just, I just wanna tell them the history will judge you and the history will write your name in a black page. Wow, uh, I think that uh, the history will judge the United States for a lot of the things that it's done in the last few years, especially in Afghanistan, when it went out for a war against terror and it left a country full of terror, unfortunately, uh, 20 years after. Uh, Walid and Rodaba, thank you very much uh, for this conversation. Uh, I, I'm really happy to see you in a safe place. I'm really happy to, to know that at least you were able to get out of Afghanistan. And uh, I really hope that you will have a future full with happiness, joy, and uh, security and prosperity. And inshallah, uh, you will know only freedom and, and happiness in your life. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. And I just want to thank everybody who those who helped us to get out, especially Dana Arman and his amazing team who did a very uh, impossible work and they made it possible. So I, I just want to thank them. I know that it's not to, uh, enough to thank them, but I will not forgive them, for, 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 uh, forget them in, in entire my life. I will tell my story to my children, to my family, to my grandchildren about them. Thank you yes, very much. Also, thank you also, Dana Harman, also the team, as Willi John told you. It was like, uh, um, just I want to tell one more thing. Uh, you know, 14 days, uh, I've got, uh, 14 days I was in Kabul and I just sent message, sent email to lots of people, uh, about 25, uh, you know, uh, so important people, so important leaders and also in basis, but no one replied to my message. But Dana all the time was in touch with me. Every day and night she was just sending a message to me, how are you, how do you feel? And finally, she just could uh, save our life. She just could... Uh, uh, you know, arrange a trip uh, to Abu Dhabi and everything happened. Uh, we are safe and I'm so thankful of uh, Dana and the team and we all the time will pray for them and thank you all. Uh, so uh, again, I, I wish you all the joy in the world and I hope that your encounter with Dana showed you that um, unlike the, the, let's say, the experience that you've seen and an experience with uh, the portrayal, I can say, of, of the Americans or your leaders. At least you saw that uh, there are some goodness in the world uh, and it was portrayed by Dana and the people that uh, helped you get out of there. And we're so happy that they succeeded and we're so happy to have you here and so happy that we are having this conversation and this chat with you. Thank you very much for this and take good care of yourselves and go and be successful and, and, and just conquer the world. Thank you very much for this. Thank you too. Thank, Thank you. you.